They provide a halftime kick that keeps Kingwood fans on their feet. And they do it as well as any dance team in the country. The Kingwood Phillies have won numerous national titles, including another championship last March in a competition at Disneyland. The Phillies hold themselves to the highest of standards and always seem to live up to them. They really get a great sense of teamwork, like they understand working together. I really like the camaraderie with the whole team. We just all get so close and we all deal with everything together, like through the ups and the downs. Unfortunately, there have been far too many downs for this group of young ladies. One of the Phillies' top leaders is junior colonel Tegan Arndt. Much of her strength comes from watching her younger brother, Landon, lose his battle with cancer. I had a really great community to support me, and from there, I've really learned from that, and it's made me a stronger person, and I think a stronger leader for this team, just being really confident in my beliefs and everything that I went through with that. And it's just so great to be supported by all these girls who I know have my back in those kinds of situations and who want to help the same way that I do. Tegan helped her family create the L3 Foundation in Landon's honor to raise awareness and funding for pediatric cancer research. The Phillies have lent their support to the L3 Foundation, including through the dancers' Kickin' Cancer talent show. She is just an inspiration to everybody because it, they her whole family has come together and they have created this foundation and she she's she's kind of like a grown-up in a teenager's body she runs the stuff for the foundation and she gets the Phillies involved and she's just a complete inspiration to us all I've been good friends with her for many years and so I've kind of seen her go through what she's gone through since the beginning and um, she's just been so strong through all of it and um, I think all the whole team can definitely see her strength and take take from that. Those days whenever I'm always feel like I can't do this or it's just harder than normal and I'm feeling extra stressed even if it's not related to Phillies or if it's related to school whatever's going on um, it's good to have all those girls there because you know that at the end of the day they have your back and they all are here for the same thing they love to dance and it's great to share that in common with so many girls. The Phillies had to pull together last October as once again tragedy struck this team. Then a junior, Riley Hoffman, was struck by a pickup truck and severely injured. She spent the next 75 days in a hospital bed and had to learn how to walk and move her arms again. It was like the biggest support of a community that I've ever seen. It was like amazing to see all the support I got from this team. After 10 surgeries and months of physical therapy, Riley is miraculously back and kicking with the Phillies during her senior year. Seeing all of my teammates dancing and doing what I love to do just kind of kept me driven to get back to where I was. She almost died basically and then she came back and now she's dancing on the field and it's just incredible her impro the improvement she's made. Their whole kind of motto now is if Riley can do it, we can do it. We can push through the heat. We can stay the extra 30 minutes for practice. Well, Riley is one of my closest friends, so like seeing her go through that was hard for her, obviously, but us as well, seeing one of my closest friends go through that. But now, like seeing her just as happy as she was like before this all happened, and like her progression and her success has made me feel like such a stronger person. A pair of remarkably inspirational young ladies exemplifying the lofty standards of the Kingwood Phillies.